How's it going? This is Len Davis with Pangeality Productions and I'm out here on Lopez Island waiting for the ferry back to Anacortes and uh, or this is in the San Juan Islands in the northwesternmost corner of the continental US. We're really close to Vancouver Island and British Columbia as well. So I there's my bus over my shoulder waiting in line for the ferry. Saw this beautiful trailer and I started rapping with Jack here whose trailer it is and Annie and to my joy and amazement jack is not just the owner and puller of it but he actually builds them as well so i wanted to check out what this is all about so check out this i mean just to start with this beautiful cabinetry and the name of your business jack is tiny trailer it is tiny trailer nice and so tell me a little bit before you get into the stove just tell me about what's going on here what have you built well this is a teardrop trailer this is my rendition of a teardrop trailer it's four by eight feet it has an anodized aluminum exterior. I wanted it to have that retro Airstream look. So I just wanted to build a nice quality product that my wife and I could sleep in the, during the night and make camping much more easier. So is the idea that, I mean, I guess there's many ways to use it, but do you see many of the folks who purchase these as replacing camping in a tent with this? Or it's more, is it closer to a tent or a sort of pulled trailer in your mind? Well, actually... I look at it more of as a utility trailer to haul your gear to and from where you're going to set up base camp. And we set up an REI alcove shelter over the back, which gives us a, a warm, dry area to, to sit in when it's raining. We haul all our gear inside this in our Subaru, but it does give us a place to sleep at night, off the ground, on a nice cushion, and it makes it easy. So, Jack, but wait one second. Before we get into the cabinets and stuff, can you show me the inside? Because I feel like I want to really see what... Well, inside, it the light woods... Uh, can we open that other side just yeah. to give some Andy, perspective? Yeah, you want to go around and open the side? It, it has uh, the light woods either birch or maple. It has some cherry trim around the windows. Uh, your feet go back underneath the two duffel shelves. And the bed's six foot three long. Uh, the shelves are just to throw your clothes at night. You have storage underneath the bed. It comes with some umbrella marine fabric, and then you have a false floor that you're able to put your tents. Here, you know, this side we usually pack our fly rods and our fishing gear. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a three-speed fan in the roof. It'll, it'll pull air in and out. But, you know, I'm able to, to sit in here and sit up. Uh -huh. And how tall are you to be I, able to I'm sleep I'm 6'2 plus, but you know, I'm able to swing my feet down here and it gives me room, a nice comfortable bed. Uh -huh. And plenty of space for your feet under the shelf? Yep. I can stretch out good. And it works out well. We got a reading light, got a couple cigarette lighter plugs to charge our, our laptop or our cell phones. The fan will pull air in or out. Nice. It's just... Sweet. Some so place... it sleeps too comfortably? It does. And then show me the hitch here and what the connection is. So, I use a, 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 a six prong plug and that enables me to charge my battery that comes with the trailer that's stored in the back kitchen area for my car to charge it. And then I'm able to run all the, the, the charger and the lights. This right here is a Coleman stainless steel cooler. Keeps all our gear nice and nice and cold. And when my wife's camping by herself, she doesn't have to lift this on or off. She's able to just keep it right there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then tell me about the back here, the beautiful cabinetry. Well, again, this this hatch raises and lowers just real easy. Mm -hmm. Comes on up. The light woods, birch or maple. We do it in two different color themes. We do it in a a blue or a khaki. I import this laminate from Italy. It's the wildest pattern I can find. Reminds me of a, a party, a birthday party. Comes with full extension drawers, little latches to keep them closed while you're traveling. <clears throat> Comes with an RV battery. Your car charges while you're running. To power the lights again and the cigarette lighter plugs it's got a spare tire rear stabilizing jacks that uh, come down and can stabilize the rear end even change a tire with these two jacks 
Nice. And this, it comes with the stove? Yes. It comes with the stove and the ice chip. The same slide bowl that holds the stove in, holds it out. And this two burner Coleman stove can either use the one gallon, <clears throat> one pound cylinders or I'm using that bigger tank that's stored on the front, riding on the front. Nice. And so in the construction, of this, how long does it take you to build one of these? About six weeks. And I'm building them by myself. <clears throat> that includes the welding of the chassis. and uh, But it takes me just about six weeks by myself. Nice. And so over the course of the year, how many are you typically able to make? Eight. Eight is our goal. And what is this unit that you're showing me right here, what's this go for? Uh, $11,500. But that is less. Yeah, we're supposed to go. They're calling us. <laughs> the whole ferry line ahead of us was rolling. And we just spaced it. Stay fresh, y'all.